Welcome to another edition of Sean's View Entertainment's podcast right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Yes, indeed, my subscribers have brought to my attention that 51,000 subscribers, which means 1,000 new subscribers since the day after Christmas 2014. The overwhelming support, the uh, positive reaction, the motivation, and of course, Sean's View Entertainment being prolific, consistent, and dedicated. But since today seems like it's going to be slow as it concerns rumors, news, and headlines, and that's what bothers me the most. That's what irks me. That's what ticks me off because I can't give you subscribers the content that you're looking for, and that's not my fault because I got some bad news because it seems like this is a day that is not going to be news rumor heavy, which is what I like to do because over the past two days, I have pumped out over 10 videos Name me another YouTuber in the past two days to start off the year that has uploaded more than 10 videos in uh, over 24 hours. There's not a whole whole of a lot that you can name right off the top of your head. As it concerns being updated, as it concerns keeping you in the know, as it concerns working around the clock. This is what I'm passionate about. This is what I'm motivated about. This is what I love. And this is what I am a work in progress to make this my job. You see, you sacrifice a lot. When you want to make YouTube your job. Because you face the unknown. You you are in a very complex situation. Because you have to overcome the adversity of not knowing whether or not you're going to make enough money in a month. To support your house. To support your bills. To put food on the table. To make sure that you can have enough money to put gas in your car to go from one place to another. To make sure you have enough money to get the job done. You see a lot of people are under the assumption that I'm on YouTube.com just for fame. Just to, just to get the money. You know what? You, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it all on the line right now. You, you know, you sometimes when you're on YouTube and you want to make it your job, like I want to do, you roll the dice, you take a chance, and once again, you face the unknown. There is a lot of uncertainty when you don't become viral overnight, when you're not an overnight success, because Sean's view entertainment success is not measured in uh, the amount of hours. It's a, the amount of days. It's the amount of weeks. It's the amount of months. It's the amount of years that I'm gonna put into this. To become that viral guy. Now, my, my channel isn't one that's going to blow up overnight. But the thing is, I'm just going to shut up all the doubts, all the haters, all the skeptics, all the critics that say I'm on here only for money. When the new year starts off, and this is going to prove that I'm not just all about the money. Because I was on here long before money and contracts was the name of the game. Before, you know, contracts were uh, sent around like candy, get sent around a candy shop. When you go into the new year of January and February, it seems like of any year, and you're on YouTube and you're making you know a decent amount of money, you will know that the CPM or RPM, whatever you want to go by, the rate, the advertising is extremely low. You don't make a lot of money. And I've made a lot of videos over the past two days. They've amounted a lot of views, a lot of attractions. But you want to know what that's going to get me? It's lucky if it gets me a meal at McDonald's completely paid for. Okay, just because you have 50,000 subscribers doesn't mean it's all fine and well and you're living the good life because that couldn't be any further from the truth. Sean's View Entertainment isn't all about the money. Do I like the money? Do I want to make money at this so I can live comfortably? you damn right because if you're going to make YouTube your job, money does have to be a big part, but it doesn't have to be everything because once again, I was on here long before I knew you could make money on here. Now everybody's trying to make money. Everyone's trying to do news and rumors headlines. Everyone's trying to do gameplays. That's the problem. You need to be different. You need to be unique. You need to expand your imagination. I appreciate the fact that you come on here and you want to do the same thing as me, but if you want to make YouTube your job, if you want to make this your passion like I do, if you want to be as dedicated and prolific to it as I am, you need to do something different as it concerns WWE, as it concerns pro wrestling, because there's already an overabundance of people talking news and rumors and uh, gameplays on here. If you want to do that, that's fine. You can do what I'm doing. But you ain't going to get far in, in a little amount of time. I did at a time when not many people were talking about their view under fair use of rumors, news, and headlines. I did it at a time when not many people were talking about it. Now, since I started doing this and I got a lot of subscribers and I developed a good fan base, everyone thinks that they can become successful. I'm still not successful and I'm at 50,000 subscribers. I am now buried in credit card debt by doing this work in progress of making YouTube my job. Unless you have, I, I, I would say, maybe... 300,000 subscribers, upwards to a million subscribers, you are still living on the edge. When I talked about facing adversity and being in, in a complex situation, that's exactly what you face on here. 
Like, like I said, in, in life, you got to take chances. Sometimes there's days where I can't provide food. Sometimes there's days where I can't pay the bills. Sometimes there's days where I can't go out in my car and do what I want to do because I haven't made enough money on here. Although I have sacrificed a lot to get where I am. I have done everything in my power to be the man that I am today. It's through hustle, loyalty, respect, and hard work. You know, you know, you look at a guy like John Cena, a guy that's making good money, more than good money, but he's working his ass off. Well, I'm working my ass off, but the problem is I'm not making enough money. But once again, it's not all about the money, the fame, the fortune. That'll all come in due time. It's a work in progress. I'll say that many times through this. I always talk about working above and beyond the call of duty because I feel that I do that for the subscribers because this is what I want to do. You know, when you go to college, you, you want to be a doctor or you want to do something that's pretty significant that you make a lot of money at. It's not guaranteed that right out of college, you're going to get a job. It's not guaranteed that right out of college, you're going to make a lot of money. It's not even guaranteed that you're going to get the job that you wanted. You could work at college. I mean, you, you could go to college and then end up working at Burger King. Well, you know what? That's the, the adversity that Sean Vinatim faces. Although I have 50,000 subscribers, it doesn't mean that I'm living in, in, in you know caviar and limousines and jets and you know being being becoming the next Justin Bieber or becoming the next uh you know biggest podcast here on youtube.com I'm doing what I do I know what I have to do and this this video isn't about uh you know moaning and complaining this video is what it is I am letting everyone know that it's not about the money of course Money has something to do with it, but it's not everything. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it would be nice if I could live comfortably on here and make this my job. But day by day, I face uncertainty because I don't know from month to month what my future holds. I don't know what the CPM, the RPM is going to be. I don't know how much money I'm going to make in a month. you got to understand that YouTube isn't uh, a weekly job. It isn't where you get 8 or 9 or $10 an hour. They've just raised the minimum wage I know in Mass and Rhode Island or they're going to be doing that in other states and other continents and countries across the globe, across the country. The bottom line is I am not paid, a, I, I don't have a guaranteed check at the end of the week. It's, I'm not paid weekly. I'm not even paid bi-weekly. If you're on YouTube.com and you're getting paid, you're getting paid once a month. And that's if you reach the threshold. That's if you make a certain amount of money. That's when you get paid. The money that I'll be making in January and February to tell you that it's not all about the money here on Sean's Entertainment will show you that the CPM, and if you look on any channel, if you go look up the stats, if you go find out this information because it's all out there, you will know that nobody makes a hell of a lot of money in RPMs and CPMs. Nobody makes uh, that cash amount in January and February because ads are at an all-time low. For all the people on here that think I'm, I buy subscribers, couldn't be any further from the truth once again. You just think what you want to think and you don't want to expand your imagination. You don't want to go by the fact that I've actually put so much time and effort and consistency and passion, enthusiasm, motivation, sleepless nights, stressful days into this very channel and making it what it is and making it noteworthy and make it stand out. I hear a lot of people coming on here saying, oh, I want to reach 50,000 subscribers. I want to be the next Sean Vinatim and I want to talk about rumors and news. Well, that's fine, but you know what? You're not going to get over. You're not going to get noticed until you do something different, until you do something that catches the eye and catches the viewer's attention. You have to keep the viewers interested in what you're doing. And that's exactly what Sean's View Entertainment has been doing. But it doesn't match the kind of money I'm making. With everything that I put into this channel, I have built it from the ground up, but the money does not represent what I've put into this channel. But that's okay because you're going to deal with the good and the bad. There's going to be some great times and there's going to be some horrible times. And that's the horrible times I'm facing. But guess what? I am still here updating. I am still here uploading. I am still here giving you everything that you've asked for. It makes me mad. It gets underneath my skin when I come on here and there's nothing to talk about. Like today. Days like today where it's dreary, where it's low. Where, you know, you got WrestleMania, you got the Royal Rumble, you got the WWE Network, but yet there's nothing to talk about because in the last two days, that's a problem with my channel. As consistent and dedicated and motivated as I am to giving you content, whether I'm paid or not, the bottom line is at the end of the day, it, you still face that level of uncertainty. You face a complicated situation because you don't know what you're dealing from one day to the next. There's always going to be a question mark. Unless you're, like I said, unless you've got like 300,000 or a million subscribers, there's still going to be that in the back of your mind. Well, how much money I'm going to make today? How many videos am I going to pump out today? Now, I started doing a lot of videos just because this is what I love to do. Like I said, I did this long before money and contracts were involved. I was just a Google AdSense partner making cents and dimes on the day. Then I started making a little bit more. And swear, has there been some good months? Has there been some good months for show entertainment? Yes. But right now, I'm living 
on charge cards, on credit cards, because I have great credit. My credit is extraordinary. Thank God for family. Thank God for my girlfriend who can help me. It's not just her that's doing it all by herself. It's not just me that's doing it by myself. It's a, it's, a, it's a tag team effort. We all come together in the hard times. So let me just tell you, starting off the new year, it's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. But I'm going to overcome the adversity because that's what Sean Vendeman has been doing since day one. Whether I have money or not, I will always come walking the line.